Okay, so first of all, I will use the unique formula to get a unique list of all of the values in the first column. Then I will put the sort formula around this in order to sort this list. Then I will do the same thing up here in order to get a sorted unique list of the values in the second column. And then I will put the transpose formula around this to get the values going across the top. Then I'll use a sum ifs formula and the sum range will be the values in the third column. Criteria range one will be the values in the first column and criteria one will be the values going down the side. Criteria range two will be the values in the second column and criteria two will be the values going across the top. Then I also want to have totals. So I will use another sum ifs formula. The sum range will be the same, but this time I will have just one criteria. So the criteria range will be the values in the second column and then the criteria will be the values going across the top. Then I also want to have totals on the side, so I will use another sum ifs formula. The sum range will again be the same, and this time the criteria range will be the values in the first column, and the criteria will be the values going down the side. And then in this cell here, I will just sum all of the values in the third column. Now I want to combine these formulas together, so I will use HStack formulas. The first cell will be blank, and then we'll take this array, and then we'll put in the word total. Then the middle HStack formula will have this array, and then this array, and then this array. And then for the bottom HStack formula, we will put in the word total again, and then this array, and then this cell here. Then we want to combine these three formulas together. So I will open up the clipboard, and I'll copy this formula here, and then this one, and this one. Then I'll do equals v stack, and then click on each of these h stack formulas in the clipboard and put commas in between them. And then close brackets and enter. And now we can delete all of this and we have everything in just one formula. Now I will copy all of the sum formulas. So we'll copy this one here and this here and this here, and this here. Then I will paste these into the vStack formula, and I'll use the colors of the cell references to guide me, and I'll work from the end going to the beginning. So this cell reference here is this formula, this here becomes this formula, this becomes this formula, and this becomes this formula, and enter. Now let's say instead of selecting the individual columns, we wanted to select the whole of the range. Then we would need to use formulas to extract each of the individual columns from the range. In order to do that, we'll use the take formula for the first column, so I'll select the whole of the range, then I want all of the rows, and I will put the number one in here as I want to take the first column. Then for the middle column, I'll use the choose columns formula, and I'll select the whole of this range, and then I will take column number two in order to get the second column. And then for the final column, I'll use the drop formula and I'll select the whole of this range. I want to have all of the rows, and then for columns, I'll put the number two, as I want to drop the first two columns, so I end up with just the last column. 
And now I have these formulas, I can copy them to put them onto the clipboard. And I will also copy this formula here and this formula here. And then we will make a let formula. I'll use the keyboard shortcut Alt Enter in order to separate this into different lines. And we need to remember to include a closed bracket at the end to close off the let formula. Now I'll call the first column one, and that will be the take formula. Then I'll call the second column two, and that will be the choose columns formula. I'll call the third column three, and that will be the drop formula. I'll call the first group, group one, and that will be the sort unique formula. And then I'll call the second group, group two, and that will be the transpose formula. Then I will select the word group two here and copy it. And we can close the clipboard now as we don't need it. And group two is actually these three cells up here. So the cell reference for this will be J2 hash. So I'll find all of the J2 hashes in this formula and replace them with group two. And I'll work from the end towards the beginning so that the color stays the same. And then we'll press enter in order to make sure that the formula is still working. And then I'll do the same thing, but for group one. So group one is these three cells here. And so the cell reference for this will be I3 hash. So I'll find all of those cell references in this formula and replace them. And then I'll copy the word three. And this is for the third column. So it's all of these cell references that are looking in column C. And I'll replace all of these as well. And then I'll select the word one and copy it. And this is for the first column. So this will be for all of the cell references that are looking in column A. And I'll replace all of these as well. And then I'll copy the word two. However, there's a problem with this. If I try and replace this with two, then I get a whole bunch of errors. And I'm not sure what is causing this, so I'm just going to change the choose columns formula here and replace it with the old fashioned version of this. So that will be using the index formula. I'll select the whole of this range here. Then I want to keep all of the rows and the column number will be two as I want the second column. And now I can copy this formula and go back to the let formula and I will replace the choose columns formula with the index formula. And now it will work correctly. Now there are two more cell references that need to be replaced for the second column, so I'll just do that. And now the let formula is done. The next step is to make a lambda formula. So I'll have one parameter here and I will call that data. And then the let formula will become the calculation. And I need to close the brackets at the end to close off the lambda formula. Now in the let formula, I have three cell references, which are all to the whole of the range. So I can take the word data here and copy it and then replace all of these cell references. And then in order to test this, I need another set of open and closed brackets at the end. And inside of these, I need to select the whole of the range. And I get the same results. Now I can copy all of this, except for the open and closed brackets at the end, and then go to formulas and define name. And the name that I will give it will be pivot table 
and in the refers to box I will paste in the formula that I just copied and OK. And now I can do equals pivot table and then select this range here and I will get these same results. Now in order to test this formula I will use it on a different table so I'll do equals pivot table again and then select this table and enter and it will pivot that table. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to make a pivot table formula in Excel and that is everything.